Welcome back to Live at 5 at 4. Ken Burns' newest documentary project premiered on Sunday on PBS, and boy, it's generating a whole lot of buzz. Yeah, a documentary series called Country Music, and it covers the history of the music genre. We want to know who you're most excited to learn about in this series. Yeah, Dolly Parton, Hank Williams, Garth Brooks, or Loretta Lynn. Let us know which star you, you're excited to learn more about, maybe some things you didn't know beforehand. A lot of artists are featured in this documentary and it really makes you learn a lot about the roots of country music here. Yeah, you can go on the WBIR app or go <clears> to the <throat> website as well. Well, thousands of people have tweeted about the first two episodes. Um, they're just pumped about it. We are so lucky to live at the same time as Dolly Parton. She is a timeless American treasure. And then Ken Kitchen, only 30 minutes in and I'm hooked. Ken Burns has done it again. There goes my next week and a half. And the eight part series continues all week on PBS. Well, everyone is talking about the Ken Burns documentary, certainly documenting um, country music and its ties to the state of Tennessee. And we have Dave Jones with the State Tourism Department of Tourism Development joining us to talk more about the documentary and the buzz so far. I'm sure it's too early to maybe measure the impact as far as tourism and tourism dollars. But what are you hearing and what is the reaction? It's what, day two or three of yeah, the documentary? Yeah, it is. In fact, uh, a lot of some of the media people nationwide saw it. The buzz before it even went on the air was was fantastic. Uh, based on past experiences, we know that a Ken Burns documentary uh, will probably bring us 40 million viewers on the first time. We know that it'll be replayed. It'll it'll be replayed over in Europe and in Canada. So a lot of eyes on on Tennessee. It's lightning in the bottle uh, for us in Tennessee. Not only eyes on Tennessee, but hopefully some foot traffic. Yeah, and, and Ken Burns said in an interview, he says, you know, uh, they're not just gonna come one time. He says, it's like drinking wine. You don't go, well, I drank wine, that's it. You're gonna go, I want some more. So uh, people are gonna come to here, and what we're working on is to making sure if you saw, those, saw the story, we're gonna show you where to go to experience those things face to face. You're calling at the Ken's Ken Burns, excuse me, path. You already have several paths documenting music genres across the yeah. state, but let's talk about the Ken Burns path and what will be featured on it. Okay, it's called T, uh, TNMusicPathways.com. If you go there, there is the Ken Burns Country Music Pathways, and uh, it goes all the way, of course, from uh, from Bristol through Knoxville through Nashville to, you know, actually we say Memphis to Mountain City. Mm -hmm. So it takes you all across and it'll show you different places that are featured in the film. We're going to produce a uh, passport and some other things that will, when people come to the state and maybe they haven't seen it, they don't know where to go, our welcome centers will have passports that they can get for free and they can just follow the trail along uh, as they're in Tennessee. When will all of this be up and running? Well, uh, the, the Tennessee Music Pathways program is up now, uh, tnmusicpathways.com. You can go there now and see some of those points of interest. Uh, and then we'll be in the welcome centers. We've got we've got media coming out in Southern Living. We are gonna be all over the place. We're gonna maximize this opportunity to showcase Tennessee and to help people understand here's where you discover it. And a chance to show the world what we already know. But let's focus in on East Tennessee. Um, where can people maybe go this weekend if they want to see some of the key points from his documentary? Well, if you want to start at the beginning, you start at what we call the, the Big Bang of, of country music. That was Bristol. Uh, the Carter family, uh, the Stoneman, all those people. And it, watching the movies and the, and the documentaries, I realized, wow, what an influence they had. So the birthplace of country music uh, in Bristol is, is the great place uh, to start. You can come down here. I, w I just came from the East Tennessee History Center. Mm -hmm. They have a fabulous music exhibit there. I would, you know, I would go there, uh, you know, just to kind of get started in this area. So many places to see and take in country music and the roots right here in East Tennessee and across the state. The website, one more time, if people want to find the, the pathway trail. Yeah, TN Music Pathways, plural, dot com. All right, Dave Jones, thanks so much for coming thanks, on. Thanks, We appreciate Enjoy. it. Enjoy. And meanwhile, over at the uh, ACUF Museum in Maynardville, leaders say they are seeing a boost in attention after the documentary. The museum has displays about ACUF and other country legends, including Chet Atkins, mm -hmm. Kenny Chesney, and it's run all by volunteers. President Martha Carter says preserving country music history is an important mission. I don't think the county and the people, the public, would be who they are 
and really understand the life of people if it wasn't preserved and kept. Now the museum also has a rare Roy A. Cuff fiddle on display. Yeah, we've seen that fiddle. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. <clears throat> well, the birthplace of country music in Bristol says the documentary also increasing traffic online. They say they've also heard from several people planning trips to Bristol. In a statement, the director says we look forward to rolling out the red carpet for visitors who've seen the documentary and want to learn more about the 1927 Bristol Sessions and their vast legacy on the music of today. So earlier we asked who you're most excited to learn more about in Ken Burns documentary series. 48% of you saying Dolly Parton, Hank Williams behind there with 23%. Um, continue to let us know. Vote. Who yeah, would you be? WBI uh, Dolly. Well, of course. Dolly. We, yeah. we know a lot about her. Yeah, but um, you always still learn something new about I, Dolly. Yeah, I, Hank Williams would probably be mm -hmm. second just because of his connection here. Absolutely. You know, staying. The Andrew Johnson. Yeah, yeah. possibly the, the night of before his, his passing. Mm -hmm.